Let's talk tomatoes. I am growing one, two, three, four, five varieties of tomatoes in my indoor garden. So let's start here. This is a little tiny orange hat tomato. These max out at six to eight inches. They make pretty orange tomatoes. As you can see, I don't have any yet, but look, right there, buds are starting to form. It's not gonna focus, but you see them right in there. Over here, look at this little winner. This is a baby micro um, from Renaissance Farms. And as you can see, this thing is four or five inches tall. Now look at all the little tomatoes already. Isn't it adorable? Lots more flowers coming over here. Let's look at what else I have. Over here, we have a, uh, I should have read the name before I came to say this. I believe it's Workowski or something like that. I'll put the name on the screen. This is from M.I. Gardener. This plant is a little bit bothersome. It has some edema. Um, I have a fan on here now. I'm gonna raise this fan up and probably just point it this direction for a while. And when it gets a few more leaves, I'm gonna cut these off. But there's a flower coming there. So soon that will be flowering. And this maxes out at I believe about two, two and a half feet it said. Then over here, Sorry about the light being off here. Let me turn on this light. We have my Serendipity Dwarf, which again, this is the third generation of this plant. It started here in this farm, in this very spot. Grew up, took cuttings, put them outside for summer. With the end of summer, took more cuttings, kept one, put it here, and here we go. And I did see, yep, there we go. There's a flower right in there. So soon I'll have tomatoes there too. And let's continue. Over here we have my Arrow Garden Heirloom Cherry Tomatoes. And again, these are the ones that germinated from a fallen tomato outside. There were like 11 seedlings. I kept um, five of them. They are, are two in that garden and three in this garden. And this is just a note on the difference I'm noticing. This is a Harvest 360. Uh, you would usually only put two in here. I tried three just for the heck of it. And while it is growing beautifully, there are tomatoes forming. You see that it looks a little strained. See that yellowing? It's time to feed tomorrow. Nutrients are due tomorrow. So I'm hoping that um, when it gets a nice boost of nutrients, it'll start to green up. I may clip off some of these leaves. But also, you see that um, none of them are ripening yet. Now, these are all the same age, but down here in this harvest, there are only two plants. And these two plants are fuller and more tomatoes are here than on the three plants up there. So this is why you only need two. The tomatoes do not get stressed. They get more access to nutrients because they're not fighting each other. And they grow more and ripen sooner. Look at that. That one I might be able to eat tomorrow. I could eat it now if I wanted to, but I'm gonna wait for a nice deep red. Then we have many more turning in there. So I think this is gonna be it for me for tomatoes um, until it's time to go outside. It's so tempting to try many varieties though, but I think these are doing great. So I'm gonna do a little pruning here I'm gonna feed them real good tomorrow with uh, Arrow Garden Nutrients and CalMag. And we're gonna keep watch and see how all of my tomatoes do. Oh, and just a tip on Arrow Garden growing of tomatoes. As I have said before, you have to pick plants that fit in your units. See how nice and small and compact these are? These are called Microdorf tomatoes. This variety, the Arrow Garden Heirloom Cherry, maxes out at about 12 inches. You might have to do a little bit of pruning to keep it in that, but you also wanna keep your light low. When you raise your light up too soon, what happens is plants try to reach for the light and that's when they become extra tall and leggy. So you keep your lights low, you prune off a little on top if you have to, and they will stay nice and short. And as you see, you still get a whole bunch of tomatoes. You don't need a giant plant for that. 
And over here, these are also micro dwarf, but as you can see, these are like extreme micro dwarf because they max out at six to eight inches. And as you can see, this one is still full of flowers, so I'm still gonna have a nice amount of tomatoes there. So when you go seed shopping and you want to grow in your arrow garden harvest, for example, which the light only goes up to 12 inches, look for micro dwarf tomatoes or look for container or patio variety and make sure you read that max height. Now, if you have a farm 24XL like I do, that gives you up to 36 inches of growing space. So you can pick a dwarf variety, not micro dwarf, but dwarf variety, which maxes out at about three feet. Now, when I grew this before, it did make it up to three feet and then it started getting a little bit taller, but I just kept clipping off those branches that went beyond, okay? Sometimes they might get a little taller, but for the most part, the size on the seed packet or on the website is what you're going to get. And as mentioned, I believe this one goes to two to three feet as well. It was, this was started from seed. So when you take a cutting from a tomato, it's gonna grow faster, okay? So that's why this one is so much bigger than that one. But what I'm gonna end up doing is moving this one over here because this side of the farm is supposed to be slated for something else. But things move around, that's also, when it comes to feeding tomatoes in your arrow gardens. Arrow garden nutrients is just fine. It works great, as you can see. However, you also might want to supplement with cow mag if you notice what I'm noticing, which is a little yellowing of the leaves. Cow mag is calcium and, mag and magnesium, and tomatoes need that for nice, strong growth. Now, if you see this, that's normal. This happens to outdoor plants too. What that is, is the branches on the bottom of tomatoes, when they don't have ready access to the light or the sun outside, those branches at the bottom dry off. But you don't have to worry about that because as you can see, there's no tomatoes on there. There's no flowers. So you just break them off and get rid of them. Totally normal. And that's gonna continue to happen for the life of the plant. Now, if you see that on your branches at the top, then you worry. But if it's branches at the bottom, break them off, get rid of them, and that's it. Okay, thank you for listening to my rambling about tomatoes and arrow gardens. And I hope you enjoy my content. Please like and subscribe and share.